We've given a general overview, but there's so much nuance that we haven't covered about the difference between these programs. Where would you two recommend that people go read up more about the differences between these programs and whether the, and, and assess which one they would be right for? There is the book. <laughs> is this Michael Syatt and John Norcross's book? That's okay. the book. Insider's Guide to Applying to Graduate School in Clinical Psychology. I was wondering when that book would be brought up. It's pretty pretty soon into the into the interview, which I'm glad about. So I'll make sure to link that in the description. Um, that book is excellent. And 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 what that book does for PhD and PsyD programs is essentially provide a concentrated list of all the information that's important. So for people that are thinking about an MSW or whether or not they want to do this, generally looking at any school that you might be interested in, you want to consider the faculty, um, the areas of specialization and interest, um, the cost of the tuition, obviously, if you have geographic limitations and the length of time that most people complete, and then also what graduates end up doing. Um, so whether it's an internship match rate for doctoral programs or fellowships or internships for social work programs, like those are all good barometers for figuring out where you might want to go. And what the insider's guide does is actually go through all the PsyD and PhD programs in the country and tell you what are the GRE scores of the people that apply? Where do they, what are their match rates, et cetera. And so mm -hmm. if you're not thinking of a doctoral program, you could still kind of learn from that book what information you should be honing in on when you look totally. at it.